Okay, one of the biggest questions people have when they start tracking is what kind of equipment do I need? And like every sport, tracking does have some unique equipment that you're going to have to um, get. The most expensive thing that you're going to need to purchase is a harness. They come in a variety of weights and sizes depending on your dog from tiny little border terrier chihuahua sized harnesses to bigger ones for um, our bigger dogs. This one is a homemade one that I made. I'm certainly, I'll have it with me at the class so you can take a look at it if you want to see how you can make one really, really cheap. The harnesses, the important part is that they are, there's two key things for AKC. One, the line has to be connected on the back of the dog, and I'll put it on the dog in a minute and show you. And two, um, it has to be non-restrictive. And so I'm going to put it on Wally and talk about what, talk about what that means. Here, Wally. Come on. There you go. So this is Wally. This is his tracking harness. I put it over the dog's head, and I'm going to fasten it underneath. And it's been sized to fit him appropriately. So as you can see, the leash comes on the dog's back and down and up to the handler. It is not running underneath the dog. That's illegal. They can be wearing a collar if you want that. The non-restrictive part has to do with talking about the pressure across the dog's shoulder points here, his shoulder blades. This harness comes up in between his legs and then goes around. There's nothing here like the anti-jump, anti-pull harnesses that put pressure on the dog when they pull. If there's pressure on the dog for pulling, it's an illegal harness. You cannot use it. This is the style harness I like. They're pretty cheap. I get. I used to be able to get them at Prairie Land Feeds. I'm not positive. I'll send you a link where you can order them on the internet. They have two buckles. They're very adjustable, so I can adjust the length around the neck. I can adjust the girth around the dog's ribs, but they have two buckles. There's another kind of harness out there that's pretty cheap that only has one buckle. It doesn't have two, so when I go to put it on the dog, I put his head in it the same way, but instead of just reaching and clipping and clipping, I have to pick his leg up and put it through and then run it underneath, make sure it doesn't tangle, and back up. It works perfectly fine, it's just harder to put on. And Wally's being really cooperative. If your dog's wiggling and he's all excited, they're really difficult to put on. So I strongly encourage the harness with two buckles. They're also easier to get off than this one is. And this finally is a, a harness that Dave got, okay, well, got for nose work for Belle. It's perfectly fine for tracking. It's very lightweight. It's not restrictive. It has two buckles. I personally would never use this for tracking because I picture cockleburs and stick pipes and all kinds of weeds attached to this fleece. But if that's what you want to do, that's okay. So you're going to have to get a harness. I will include a link where you can purchase one. 15, 20 bucks.